Okay, this um, lecture is going to be about um, using a particular category of words, a particular category of, of uh, ideas that will be connected to the uh, basic building blocks that you need to use for critical thinking. In other words, we're going to talk about uh, a, how people make mistakes in when they categorize or use a particular category of words to describe something. We're going to talk about basically dichotomy and continuous. Con dichotomous variables versus continuous variables. Um, having a conversation yesterday and she told me the light's only half on. Come on, how could that be? Well, another possibility. Somebody might say, well, he was sort of born in Hawaii. Sort of? What do you mean by sort of? Were he partially born in Hawaii? How could that be? Um, or somebody might say to you something like this. Um, he was basically over six feet tall. But really, come on. When you say basically, does it mean that he's sometimes over six feet tall? Or maybe you mean he's both over six feet tall and under six feet tall? Something here is a little bit funny. As you can see from these statements, that uh, sometimes we talk about things that they either are or are not. Right? They cannot be partially or halfway. They're just yes or no, true or false. Can't be anything else. These type of things are called dichotomous variables. Dichotomous means there are two possibilities. It's this or that. Dichotomous, a fancy way of saying that is that they can be bifurcated. By, as in bicycle, two wheels, right? As against tricycle with three wheels, right? Or unicycle with one wheel. By goes in two separate directions, divided into two things. So that means it's split in two. Now, not all things are like that, as we say. This is certainly not. Um, sometimes there are other things, which are the phenomenon, which can have many, many, many levels. Uh, and theoretically, even an infinite number of levels. These are called continuous variables. It's not really black or white. Wait, no. It can be uh, various, you know, 50 shades of gray. But why 50? Maybe 100. Maybe 200. Well, actually, there can be an infinite amount of shades of gray. Right. So, keep on dividing it. That would be called a continuous variable. Now, the problem is that people tend to confuse these two types of what we're talking about. In fact, many people often, very often, confuse these two things. It's not uncommon, especially for people to dichotomize something which is really a continuous variable. In other words, something which is intrinsically continuous, they talk as if it's either yes or no. Uh, you've heard it. Somebody says, she's so stupid. Right? Or the other way, he's so intelligent. So how stupid is stupid? And how intelligent is intelligent? Uh, the kid is so short. Uh, no, he's not. He's tall. I've seen him. He's surely tall. No. Well, it depends how tall is tall and how short is short. And that, you know, it doesn't really mean anything when you talk about it in that type of, uh, with, with it, without knowing that it is a comparative possible continuous variable. In fact, most variables that have to do with people are continuous variables, and people often treat them as dichotomous variables. Now, this becomes extremely important if you're talking about cultures or psychology, anything that has to do with the way we live. Um, can one really say, for instance, a culture is permissive and another one is oppressive? Well, it might have a lot of oppressive factors or a lot of per permissive factors, but it's not as if it's an on-off situation. A culture that allows, for instance, a pu permissive political de uh, discussion, but does not allow what we would call permissive sexual expression. So, would it be permissive or oppressive? And how much expression makes it, makes it permissive? These are questions which they become relevant only because you're not distinguishing between the dichotomy, dichotomous and continuous variables. Um, I'll give you some more examples. Uh, you've heard this, I'm sure. I was discussing yesterday with somebody about being introverted or extroverted. He's such an introvert, and she's such an extrovert. But wait a minute, can somebody be a little bit extroverted? Or not so introverted? Well, if that's true, then it's not really a dichotomy. Dichotomy. You can, or you can be extroverted in one situation and introverted in another situation. It's not really a dichotomy, it could be continuous. I can say I'm not biased, but she's really biased. She's biased enough. How biased is biased? Especially when we realize that all of us have certain biases um, or certain behaviors maladaptive. Well, I might argue something's more or less adaptive, so maybe that has to be thought of as a continuous variable. 
Okay, so the point is that you have that you always have peer people hear people use these these things these terms and if they're continuous and they use them as the, the dichotomous and usually do it to to prove a point so to speak um, and really it's just a bunch of baloney. So here's what you have to keep in mind. Here's the things that you got to learn from this. Okay, number one, pay attention to the words that you use to describe things and become aware of the difference between dichotomous and continuous variables. Number two, whenever discussion is about people or societies or cultures, in other words, have to do with attitudes, traits, beliefs, concepts are almost always continuous. And number three, always try to avoid using dichotomies when the concept is really a variable which is continuous. Thank you.